Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Peter Svidla and Vladimir Malakov. This game was played in Katimansisk in 2009. Svidla had white pieces and he started with d4. Malakov played d5, c4, the queen's gambit, c6, the slav defense, maybe. Knight to c3, knight to f6, knight to f3, black to move. Malaku played a6. This is known as the Chebanenko Slav. There is a game when Carlsen with white pieces faced Chebanenko Slav. The game is in the description below the video. However, if you are a fan of Magnus Carlsen, please don't watch it. The game continued. e3, the standard move. b5. C5, gaining the space on the board, controlling the 6 square, black to move. Bishop to G4 is quite a popular move in this position. G6 was played. Bishop to D3, Bishop to G4, pinning the knight, asking a question. Bishop takes on F3, Queen takes Bishop. Bishop to G7, white to move. G4 was played. If castling, then castling, and it is about equal. So we have g4, playing ambitiously, black to move. Castling was expected, but there was a surprise. e5. The general rule says don't open the e-file if you didn't castle, but white didn't castle neither. The threat is e4. Queen to g3, knight from f to d7, Knight to e2, queen to e7, blinding the queen with the white king, but Svidla castle at king's side. h5, very sharp play by Malakov. f3, knight to f8, a4, b4, keeping the file closed, bishop to d2 attacking the pawn, defending e4. White is now naturally interested in the opening of the e-file. D takes on e4, bishop takes on e4, knight to e6, rook from a to e1, and black must be careful. h4 attacking the queen, queen to f2, and Malakov castle at kingside too. f4, e takes on d4, f5 sacrificing the pawn for the attack, knight takes on c5 attacking the bishop, bishop to b1, d3. Knight to c1, queen to d6, white to move perhaps, queen takes pawn on h4 was expected. Bishop to a2 was played. Black to move, how would you continue? Malako played the best move. Bishop to d4. Bishop to e3, knight to e4 attacking the queen, queen takes pawn on h4. g5. Queen to h5. Black to move. How would you continue? What is the best move for black in this position? Malako played d2. f6. What is the threat? Let's play a random move. Pawn takes rook, promoting to queen. Then queen to g6, check. And after king to h8, queen to g7, check. Mate, back to our game. So, what is the solution? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this amazing move? Queen takes pawn on f6. White to move. Bishop takes bishop. Let's take it back. What's wrong with rook takes on f6? Then pawn takes rook check and after king to g2, queen to g3 check, king to f1 and now how would you continue? Would you play bishop takes bishop on e3 or bishop takes rook? Bishop takes rook wins for black and bishop takes bishop on e3 has a tiny downside. 
And what is it? This is the downside. Rook to g6. Check. Mate. Back to our game. So, Rook takes Queen is losing. Svidla played Bishop takes Bishop on d4. Queen takes on d4. Check. King to g2. Black played the move. And white resigned. And the move is, how would you continue? Malako played pawn takes rook knight. Svidla resigned in view of this continuation. King to h1, knight to g3 check, king to h2, and black can win in many different ways. Let's pick knight takes rook check, king to h1, Knight to g3, check, king to h2, black to move and to checkmate in one, and the move is queen to f2, check, mate. Wow, that was brilliant play by Malakov. And let's go back to move 4, a6, the Chebanenko Slav. Would you like to learn more about this defense? I even didn't scratch the surface about the Chebanenko Slav. But if you wish to learn more about this very fine opening, please click on the link below the video and access a free video by Grandmaster Alex Cholovich, who is the authority in this field. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.